I am delighted to be joined by, for the first time tonight, but not the last time tonight, Bella Mukaraka! Thank you so much, David. I had to get into the cage because the next fight is an all-girl fight. And as you all know, I'm the queen of the cage and I love to be in and a part of the girls. The, fight, the uh, video that you just saw on uh, uh, up now, every single one of those fighters has actually walked into this XFC cage. So, what a, what a fantastic video, guys. Is everyone ready for fight number three? In case you missed it, this is our first women's fight of the night. Are you ready for fight number three? Ladies and gentlemen, this is a bantamweight fight in the B-Class division. Please welcome Kira Lee Botfield. Okay, so now we have Kira Lee Killerbeaten. Love that fight name. Botfield. So fighting out of Dynamic Boxing Academy. I've seen her fight in the cage before. I really like what she brings. Calm, collected, gonna be a fight tonight. Yeah, knows how to flick that switch to bring a little bit of mongrel into the cage as well. But uh, one thing I always say, and it's the reason why we were so proud to do that uh, all women's fight show only a couple of months ago, women do not know how to take a backward step. And I've never once seen a boring women's fight. So again, we love having the women on XFC and uh, yeah, pumped to see how this fight pans out. Yeah, certainly. And one of the things you'll notice um, for people who have followed uh, Kira Lee's career, she's actually not fighting out of uh, MMA area anymore. And the reason for that is she has actually broken up her discipline. So she's fighting out of four gyms now with four dedicated coaches across the board. So expect to see a more put together Kira Lee in, in her striking style instead of just having it all under one. Not saying there's an issue with having one club that does it all. This is just Kira Lee's preference to break it out and separate them across the board. Yeah, definitely interesting, isn't it? You know, like, because, uh, you know, you go to your, your integrated or your south sides when they mix it all together. There's there's particular reasons why they mix it together or, you know, you, the session that they'll do on Monday will lead into the session on Tuesday and it'll, it'll lead on to the next session. So it's kind of like a well-rounded sort of approach. I'm loving the Freddy Krueger rush guard as Ladies well. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Alison Jenkins. I've got to say, I'm obviously a little bit biased here. Uh, Allison training out of the same club I train out of and also joined by Bella. Um, 16 years of age, jumping in here. I did mention that uh, she spent more time on her eyelashes than <laughs> Pasha did tonight, which is hard to believe for those who know Pasha. But in saying that, she's certainly turning up, prepped and ready to go. A blue belt, been competing quite a lot and she is focused. So don't let her age fill you. She is an absolute killer and a formidable opponent. Kira Lee and Allison are going to have a great match tonight. I'm really looking forward to it. 16 years old, so yeah, Southside's youngest fighter in their stable. And Actually, yeah, oh sorry, I was going to say I was at a, an Eternal about a, a year or two ago, and I heard this person shouting from the back of the crowd. I was like, "Who is this person?" yelling out instructions to uh, Jesse Muzzer at the time. And I look over and obviously yeah, it's, it's Alison Jenkins and I was like, oh, here's this young kid, you know what I mean? Never been in the cage before. What's she on about? And here we go, not even a year later, she's about to have her second fight. And one of the things I, um, so obviously from training the same gym, the intensity that she brings, she does all the work. There is never a time when she goes, no, I've had enough. She does all the work and Pasha has pushed her to the absolute limit. She is going to be prepped and ready to go here. This next fight is the first of two women's fights here tonight with three by three minute rounds. It is a bantamweight fight. Introducing first in the blue corner. Weighing in at 60 kilos. Fighting out of Dynamics Boxing Academy, Kira Lee Botfield. And in the red corner, fighting out of Southside MMA, she weighed in at 61.5 kilograms. Please give it up for Allison. Jenkins! And the referee for this fight is Chris Hay. 
All right, they're going head-to-head. -head. Dave Nash and uh, Bella. I'm giving Bella 1-0 so far. She absolutely smashed that introduction. Well done, Bella. And here we come for the bantamweight fight tonight. First ladies fight on the card. Fight number three, XFC Mansfield. Straight into it. No feeling out period whatsoever. And Alison went straight for a, a takedown, which is a standard move for her if you uh, have watched any of her previous fights. So, guys, obviously, you know a little bit, a lot more about uh, Southside's procedures. Would Alison have approached Pasha about fighting, or would um, Pasha have approached uh, Pasha uh, first? Alison definitely would not approach Pasha. Pasha would have definitely come to her for this particular fight. Um, she's already had a fight, uh, an MMA fight, and a two kickboxing fights, so she's ready to rumble. You know, at 16 years of age, she's uh, at the prime. <laughs> All but not even, not even ready to be primed. How, how could you describe it? Nice transitions there, wasn't she? Certainly was. There's a few up kicks thrown there um, a little bit, little bit earlier, but uh, from this point here, you can really see the level of grappling as well. Like they're both switching it up, both have blue belts. And at this stage here, um, obviously Allison's on top, making Kira Lee take all of her weight at this stage, all of the bantam weight skill set anyway. <laughs> I remember when I weighed that much. Yeah, grade four. Wasn't Same it? here. Yeah, I, I was thinking about grade five. <laughs> I was 61 kilos. But. but one of the things I really love about the female sports is the fact is they're giving it an absolute all. I actually I always find that the female fights are more technical because we're so used to fighting against guys and training with men who use strength or don't use strength or say they don't use strength. Yeah. Or our she's, she's, she's going an straight for she's going straight for an armbar, which is a strong move. Here we go. This could be the end. She's oh, got really? it in tight. If she, put, if she clinches her knees together, this could be the, the end for uh, Kira Lee, unfortunately. The women are so flexible, though. They certainly are. It's, it's all in the arms, really. <laughs> <laughs> you see, she's opened she's it up. She's not afraid. She's got it on she's now. Got she's definitely got it on. If she just pinches oh, it. Oh, look at that. She's going to tap it. Is she going to tap? Is Kira Lee she's ready to tap? Allison. Is here. This is one of oh, Allison's wow. moves as well. Made from of her jiu-jitsu. A lot of jiu-jitsu comps. Beautiful, Kira Lee. Oh, my gosh. Wow. The transitions and defense out of that. It's got to be close, surely. Super flexible. Allison looks very calm as well. Yeah. And even over the crowd, you can still hear Pasha yelling out the instructions across oh. the board. Move your hips. Oh. Her arm is double it's jointed. Snapping. Is it going to snap? Is it going to snap? Is it going to snap? Oh, my gosh. Nope, not ready to snap yet. But look at the level of uh, control. And there is no quit in them. Like you mentioned before, Matt Walton, there is no quit in here. We can no hear Alison talking to the referee now. I wonder what yeah, she's, she's saying. I think she's trying to say she's tapped or it's broken. But, uh, yeah, she really has to concentrate on doing her own thing right now. And not Curry's worry about her opponent. Fight, but tell you what, that bent in the wrong direction, didn't it? So we've got the 10-second clapper at this Alice stage. Alison's got 10 seconds to finish this sub off. I think Botfield may actually come out of this one, but what kind of significant wow. damage? Is it dissipated? Oh, her arm's gone. Her arm definitely looks gone. No tap, though. What a what an effort. Wow. Was that dislocated? That looked dislocated to me. And it popped out. And it did pop, and she's put it back in. Oh. Is the doctor going to come and have a look at her is the question. Yeah, yeah, the Will he come? Gonna have a look. The doctor was here. So Alison actually said to the ref, I've dislocated her arm yeah. without without any consideration either, really. <laughs> <laughs> Stone Cold Killer. Stone Cold Killer at 16 years of age, ladies and gentlemen. So so now we've got the psychological game coming into it of, no. of having such a strong round. So such a strong round, how to bounce back from that and then being Paramedics on the opposite side out. We're all good. We're ready to go again. Yeah, Mr. Allen's happy. Oh, wow. I think she's got three elbows. Seems that way, doesn't it? You mentioned before they bring everything to the table, and we oh, just saw it then. God, that was insane. Nice ride right, from Alison Jenkins there. So Killer Bee's in there. She's going for the striking. Which arm was it? It was her left arm. Left arm. Let's see if she throws it. Nah, nah she's no, not she's not she's throwing that. It. Yep. There's definitely some sort of injury there that she's going to have to go through, work through through yeah. the rest of this fight. She, she's oh, reluctantly throwing it. Through. Allison's going straight for the double leg on the cage here. Oh, the Transition single. Transition single. to a single. She's using it for the guillotine. Very high guillotine. Very high guillotine at this stage. Don't tell me she's going to use that same arm. She is using well, the, the guillotine arm. Well, the arm have it, though, is the question. Yeah. 
Nice shot. Nice done by Allison Jenkins there to get it to the ground. Oh, no, it's that same, same arm. arm. She's exposed it. Whoa. Yeah. And there is the potential you know, damage of not being able to hold on to that guillotine when she went down. And she's going back into yep. the same move. Oh. You know, the savagery of this girl, the 16-year-old girl, doesn't care. Doesn't um, care. Is she going to go for it again? Get up. Going to go for a triangle. She's going to go for that reverse triangle. Oh. And it, she's locked it up. I think she's going to go for that arm just out of principle, maybe. Yeah, she said oh, is. Oh, Beautiful and the strikes. Strike, strikes to the head. Nice strikes to the head by Allison. Beautiful way of getting rid of the grip. Oh, oh the hammer fists that are going on on poor. Oh, and the strength to be able to push her over. Now she's pound got her into a mounted position. Pound. Yep. The referee is having a close she's Very look at close. This. She's got a triangle set up there as well. And this is the point of being able to intelligently defend yourself. And she's going back into the arm Same bar transition. Up. Oh, just constantly transitioning. She's just constantly attacking it, isn't it? This Alison Jenkins is a star. Look at this. You, you said it, Matt, not me. You said it, Matt, at 16 years of age. Oh, there's the arm again. Look oh, at that. that arm looks, oh, my that, gosh. Oh, it just does not look right. I think. Oh, she's going for it again. After All she's going to do is pop it. it. There's an opportunity. She's definitely taking it. And, I, and you know. I think that shows her level, like her jiu-jitsu competition. Like, you know, the, yeah, you the amount the of... The, that the arm, oh, the arm is, is, gone. is gone. The arm is absolutely gone. But, you know, Kira Lee's doing well to not allow it. Yeah, and, and what you can see here from Allison being able to get rid of the leg in a smart way, and that arm is gone, but oh, gosh, gosh. Tillaby will not let... Not, not, not let even tap. Top. So we've got 23 seconds left in the clock. And we're in a very similar position as where we started on round And she would just one. be tired too, wouldn't she, really? Does it just wear you down? There is a piece, though. Um, you know, if, if, if all the ligaments are gone, and I'm speculating here, yeah. you no longer feel the pain. Yeah, right. right. Okay. You're completely numb. So from this point here... It doesn't really matter because it's gone anyway. Is that, yep. is that what we're thinking? Yep. Ten second clapper. Already gone. Now we move oh. into round number three. Oh, she's still moving the arm, so... I've watched what hundreds a, of fights live. What a what an arm of the killer bee! What an arm! It is just the go-go gadget arm, left and right. Of the amount of fights I've watched live, that is the craziest armbar that I've seen survived. What I actually I, I want to go back to Allison's armbar. One of the things I really liked about it when she was setting up is the way that she laces her left leg in to peel the hips away and expose the arms. It's actually quite high level. And I'm going to be taking note of it any time I roll with her going forward to make sure <laughs> I don't get caught. So guys, right now, is, is Pasha saying go for something else? She's not no, going to tap. no, he's saying going for the same you thing over and it. over. He wants it and he wants, him, he wants her to tap due to that armbar on that arm. I think he's going to do it again. I reckon, I reckon potentially, but she's obviously transitioning into that triangle. So it's maybe, so easy. Yeah, so, but, so maybe you know, he's like, talking about that part as well. But from this point here, there's a survival part. But Kiralee is not out of this fight. She is an absolute weapon. That guillotine saw. looked deep before, so you know you could have had a questionable on that. Yeah. yeah. So she's she certainly got full use of the right arm, and she's going to be able to utilize that. Yeah, I'd go for the guillotine, especially how she could uh, dislocate that elbow again and kind of get both of her arms around the neck. She's not. Uh, she just doesn't. Yes. And then that arm, I think, was the end of her. Yeah. And 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 for everyone in the, at, at home. I think the reason, and once again, I'm speculating, I think the reason is being able to intelligently defend yourself. If you cannot bring your arm up to, to, to uh, throw a guard in place. Yeah. Yeah, you know, towards the, uh, towards the end of the second round there, I was kind of hoping the referee didn't get involved. But I tell you what, that, that had to be stopped. And that was actually a really good stop, and I'm happy with that. So, Kira Lee... You know, we, we always say it here, you know, do we want them to have one more fight? Do you want to have 20 more fights? So stop that fight there, get that arm looked at, and yeah, hopefully Kiralee can have another 20 fights after this. Yeah, and what an absolute weapon. Like, gosh, too strong for her own good, wasn't she, Kiralee? But tell you what, Alison Jenkins, that was impressive. It certainly was. And um, just absolutely amazing. So she now moves to 2-0. Um, so great to see on that point. But I really like the fact that Kiralee gave it her absolute all. And once again, this is the reason why we have the best refs in the business. Because sometimes refs have to step in to protect you if you're not able to protect yourself. 
Kiralee is too much of a warrior for her own good. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, does anyone else see that fight? <laughs> so your ref stopped this fight in round three after 23 seconds. Your winner, Alison Jenkins! I am so super proud of Alison right now, but I'm also really, really feeling for Kira Lee. She put her absolute heart into that fight. Yeah, and looking over at uh, Pasha Soli, obviously he's happy, but uh, as a jiu-jitsu fanatic himself, he knows the sort of damage that can happen with, uh, with not tapping. So I think right now what's going through his head right now is that, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, she tapped. And rocking the two beauties in the center of the cage now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that don't know, Alison's actually my niece. So this is a very important fight for me to watch. Alison, 16 years of age, how are you feeling, my darling, after that superb, superb win? Yeah, really good. Trained really hard for this, so it was worth it. <laughs> now, I want to know, because I was over there in the commentating booth, I couldn't actually hear. What were you saying to the ref? Oh, her arm cracked. I heard it. So she knew. So you knew that arm was gone in the first round and, and you were kind of trying to help along the process. Yeah, I didn't want to fuck her up like her career, so. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay, anybody you would like to thank for this fight? Um, a big thank you to my corners, Paul, Lee Types, Kita, um, and Marketer. They've been helping me through this whole journey, 11 weeks, so yeah. Um, and a big thank you to my management team, Spec AMGT. Um, they've well. been a big help finding me fights, you know. And thank you to Vinay Bella for my lashes, of course. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, and a big thank you to my mum because she tags along as well. <laughs> Excellent. Um, what I'm thinking is another fight pretty soon. How are we feeling about that? How, how's the body working out? How are you feeling? Do you want to fight again and how quickly? Yeah, I'll fight in another month or so. Um, body's all right, a bit sore, but it is what it is. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Please give it up for 16-year-old Alison Jenkins. 16.